One of the immediate hurdles he faces is coughing up cash for a bond in the $454 million judgment against him in the New York civil trial. Let's take a listen to his lawyer, Alina Haba. Here it is. We appeared before the appellate division uh, just last week. Mm -hmm. He obviously amended the order in terms of allowing the Trump children and uh, Trump family to continue to operate their business and to get loans, which was a big step in the right direction. As I've always said, Martha, this is going to be a long game. What is your assessment, Ty, of how Haba has handled this case and the vulnerabilities that come with this financial pickle that Trump has found himself in? Well... I think that the that her lawyering skills um you know have been have been probably appropriately assessed by most commentators she had great difficulty uh, um in the uh eugene carroll case you know getting you know getting simple documents um into evidence getting questions asked and answered um notwithstanding the uh, efforts to assist her by the by the judge um in the in the 400 you know, plus million dollar uh, case uh, uh, overseen by Judge Ingeron. Uh She, you know, she was quite disrespectful. Uh, one of her clients, she represented both Weisberg and uh, uh, Trump, and you know, Weisberg uh, was uh, pled guilty to perjury in that case. Um, uh, subsequently, so I think I think you see some pretty extreme danger down the road for her. I think. Um, uh, in terms of the ability to uh, the ability to uh, uh, continue on the federal court stage or the or the high profile stage, but at the same time, I think it's also uh, important to understand that you know I don't think the president expected to win either of those cases, and uh, while he was critical of um, uh, Mr. Takapina in the case that he only lost five million dollars in. You know, uh, Lena Haber lost him uh, 80 to 87 million dollars. So hmm. I think I think that's a pretty good measure, measuring stick. Um, and I think she just has to you know, she has to learn some simple foundational uh, evidentiary stuff and courtroom procedure. And most importantly, she has to learn how to respect the judges, uh, because that was solely la sorely lacking uh, in both cases. Yeah, I think that has been stated many a time. Ty Cobb, it's very good to speak with you. I'll look forward to doing so again. Thank you so much. Thank you.